Safaricom has reported 140 billion shillings in pre-tax profit in the financial year that ended in March 2024. The telco says earnings were dragged by poor business in its Ethiopian subsidiary profit after tax fell by 18.7 percent to 42.7 billion from 52 52.5 billion in March 2023. Shareholders will get a final dividend of 65 cents per ordinary share bringing the total dividend payable for financial year 24 to one shilling and 20 cents per share. Impesa revenue expanded by 19.4% to 140 billion shillings, boosted by increased transaction maintaining its position as a top revenue earner. Mobile data revenue grew by 18.1% to 63.2 billion shillings. The performance was driven by customer segmentation, public analytics to understand and serve customers. Using our pricing to ensure that customers can still utilize our services in meeting their day-to-day -day needs. In the period under review, Safaricom PLC Group revenue grew by 13.4% to 335.3 billion shillings, with the MPESA contributing for 2.2% of revenue at 140 billion shillings, and GMS business contributing 73.9 billion. Net income increased by 13.7 percent to 84.4 billion shillings for Safaricom Kenya, while the group net income, excluding minority interest, increased by 1.2 percent to 62.99 Kenyan shillings. Pitandego, a Safaricom PLC CEO, said there is need to invest in new technologies to enable create more efficiencies and better customer engagement. So that we are using it for experience, we are using it to offer better services, and we are using it to simplify uh, our, uh, uh, the way we operate, both internally but, but also inter externally. And that's why we need then to elevate the capability. We talked about everyone has the right capability of the future. You will have noted that we are paying a similar dividend as last year, despite the highest registering the highest EBITDA loss in Ethiopia. So you must see that Kenya business has really, has really pulled itself out. And we hope that it's only the beginning of things to come.